So from the outdoors, let us come down to the basics. The basics in terms of uh, what we have learnt doing whatever we have done on the ground. You would have seen in this outbound, the two events that we carried out. Point one is understanding the task, the objective, the role of every individual of the team towards achievement of the goal. And therefore, uh, the need for clear understanding of an individual's role is important. For example, you see even long, long ago in, in the even in uh, what Guru Dronacharya asked Arjuna, what do you see? And what did he see? He saw only, he saw only the eye of the bird. Okay, the dialogue of Arjuna is uh, Gurudev, I see the eye of the bird. He does not look at the bird as a whole. And therefore, we have to be so precise in our objective, in our focus towards achieving the objective. This is point one, understanding the task in its correct perspective. Having understood the task, having identified the role for every individual, looking at the resources available, resources at hand, whether it is resources which are material resources or whether it is human power. This resources we have to understand, we have to identify, we have to understand the strength and weaknesses of every resource at hand. Only then you can allocate the resources justifiably and optimally. And therefore, the second point that we have observed in the outbound training today was the allocation, identification and allocation of the resource. Say for this particular thing, a frame, one had to identify who is right, who is the right person who can stand on that horizontal pole and that hold this. You had to identify who are those fellows who will be capable of pulling the ropes in four cardinal directions that were given. And then you also had to identify whether you identify or not, sometimes in, in such, see this is a leaderless activity which happened. Outbound does not nominate any leader, we are all equals. In fact, every general manager comes here, he cribs, he says, sir, what are you doing? You are making me run along with my youngster who joined yesterday. So I tell them that's how it is. When you are when you have entered this OBT arena, you are all equal. And therefore, you would have seen this leaderless group and the task. As the task happens and progresses, somebody emerges as a leader. Somebody emerges as a leader. This is a separate theory topical topic for uh, discussion, we are not getting into that, how one emerges as a leader there. We are now only to understand that we have to identify and allocate resources for optimum result. This is the second most important aspect that we have seen. Having identified the task and having allocated the resources to task, it is important that every individual in the team knows what is the vision and therefore, whoever comes up as a coordinator, call him a coordinator, call him a leader, call him anybody, whoever is emerging up and coordinating, it is his job to ensure that the vision is rightfully shared amongst the participants. While progressing on the work, on the task, there, there may be circumstances when we, would, we will have to review what has been done so far and where required, if required, 
make the necessary course correction. Course correction in terms of changing the task given to individuals, in terms of giving a little break to some individual, putting somebody else onto this job, like the geese, the, the one who was flying in front gets back and somebody else takes up the position and any such thing that is necessitated by the situation, the demands of that particular, at that particular point of time. Finally, uh, OBT uh, helps in ensuring that, that the, the energy of every individual is channelized, channelized according to the needs of the organization, according to the needs of the organizational growth. The energy is not supposed to be impeding the progress of the organization, impeding the production capacity, but it is supposed to be accelerating whatever is on the job, whatever is the process. It is supposed to be refining every activity in the process. That is the core aim of outbound training. Let us go back a little at that planning stage when the task is allotted, things people are given the roles to play. Normally what happens is everybody, we get together and we start talking, hey, what to do, how to do, who will do what, where will we start from. When these things are happening, this is what at a larger connotation is, planning is going on. And mind you, the time spent in planning is not wasted. The time spent in planning is always productive. So planning is important. When you plan it right, things get executed in order. And while planning, see there are four people who are giving their ideas. This is how it should do, this is how it should go. Somebody says no like this, 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 this. Ultimately, whoever, one person, whether it is a nominated leader or whether it is somebody who comes up and uh, we take him as a, appoint him as a leader. When somebody takes the responsibility as a leader, he looks at all these four people's points of view, courses of action. He looks at the strengths and weaknesses of each of these and then he says, I will take on this way. And when he says, this is the course of action that I am taking and this is the role allocation to each one of you, the individual subordinate thereafter, he is supposed to understand his role the way the leader has now told him to do. And even if his original idea was diametrically opposite to what has now been told to him, he is supposed to forget that original idea. What he is supposed to do now is, he is supposed to take that final instructions, coordinating instruction that has been given, that is the gospel truth. He takes it here and carries it out to his complete capacity, to his fullest capacity as if it was his own original idea. That is how the team wins.